Welcome to Chartwell. In today's video, I take a look at three different screens for finding good short setups. Now, as you may have noticed, the markets are currently in a slump. Upward momentum is lacking and there are some indications that a larger correction may be on the way. If we take a quick look at the daily and the weekly charts of some major US index ETFs, we know that after yesterday's trading session, the SPY and QQQ in particular also closed below their 50 daily moving average line, which corresponds to the blue, the blue line on the chart. This was already the case for a few days regarding the Dow Jones Industrial and the Russell 2000. The reason we assume a somewhat longer correction has to do with the situation on the long-term weekly chart, particularly with regard to the SPY and QQQ. It is notable that the upward run has led to prices quoting too far above their 30 and 40 weekly moving averages, which on a daily chart corresponds to a 150 and 200 simple moving average. So a healthy price correction would not be a bad thing at all in this regard. Those trading in the very short term can try to profit from the correction by going short in certain stocks. Be warned, however, that shorting stocks is not for everyone. It requires very strict rules around position size and risk management. The time frame on which to trade is usually a lot shorter than for those just executing swing trades on the long side. The momentum on a price drop can be very aggressive, but can only be very short lived. So don't get caught by this. Let's take a look at three different short trading ideas in Chartle. And to do so, first go to the Trading's Idea page. So I'm going to search for short trading ideas, added by Chartmill itself. And there are a total of 15 results. The first trading idea in this video is the mean reversion screen failed breakouts above the 52 week high. Click more info first to read exactly what the trading idea entails and the specific filters used. So with this trading idea, Chartwell looks for stocks that have broken through their 52 week high in the past five days, but have fallen more than 2% on the most recent trading day and closed lower than the previous trading day low. In addition, the previous trading day must have ended positively. Click run in stock screener to see the results. So first I'm going to change my chart settings, go to the chart settings tab. Um, I'm going to use my personal advanced daily template. This trading idea displays setups that show a reversal pattern with a clearly identifiable top. Now, if you want to refine the results to just the US, you can easily do so via the exchange tab in the general menu. So US only, that gives us three results. The first one, big volume, yesterday new 52 week high and then, um, well, the day before yesterday and then yesterday at close, uh, a close below the 10 and the 20 daily moving average, almost 6.5% lower. Second one is Vista Energy, again, in last trading session, first a new 52 week high, but finally closed below the 10 and 20 moving average. 3.6% lower. And finally, a AMR key, very strong up move since the beginning of April, uh, an extended move. And now, uh, yes, uh, the day before yesterday, um, a new 52 week high, resulting in a doji bar. And then the last trading session, there was some follow through, a close 4.4% lower. Uh, volume is not as much as the previous volume. Nevertheless, it's a reversal pattern identified by Chartmill. So those are the results of this specific screen, US results for this specific short screen. A second bearish momentum screen is the bearish engulfing pattern in weak stocks. In this case, the software searches for low relative strength stocks that simultaneously exhibit a bearish engulfing pattern. Again, press run in stock screener to see the results. Now I'm going to sort this list based on market capitalization. Um, so companies with the highest market capitalization will show first. And the first result we find here is uh, Pepsi Cola. 
So both the short and long term are negative. Price is trading lower than all the main moving averages on the daily and the weekly chart. And on the weekly chart, as you can notice on the chart over here, a double top has formed in a, a negative trend. So the next target on the daily chart is at the level of $163 approximately between 162 and 163 after this bearish engulfing pattern and the same goes for uh, Honeywell International also uh, a bearish engulfing candle minus 1.1 percent in the last trading session also in this case trend line downward momentum losing the 30 and 40 weekly moving average which corresponds to the 150 and 200 daily moving average on a daily chart so the last price is below those two long-term moving averages volume was above average so in this case if we get any follow through first resistance is at 190 and after that um, it's 175 between 170 and 175 so both nice low risk short setups and finally one last screen the squeeze place short setup so squeeze plays indicate a narrow range identified by the Bollinger bands that are within the Keldner channels and on top of that the current price trend has to be bearish with this screen we are looking for stocks that break below a short term sideways trading range the results so the first one that caught my eye is Tesla of course clearly noticeable on the daily chart the Bollinger Bands which are within the Keltner channels indicating a narrow trading range on the weekly chart the trend is obviously bearish uh, price notes below the 30 and the, fig, and, the, and the 40 weekly SMA now let's have a look on the daily chart for Tesla so it's still within that uh, trading range that sideways trading range but if it can uh, break down uh, first target is rather close um, approximately 152 and then the next target for the longer term is 102 and then a second one snap yesterday it went minus 4.7 4 percent it actually broke out below the bowling events and the Keltner channel so again Bowling events were within the Keltner channel, indicating a very narrow trading range. It's not so obvious on, a, on the weekly chart, it's a sideways range. Uh, but if we take a look at the daily chart, again, the same rectangle box indicating the narrow trading range. It broke down and the first real target uh, is at between 8 and 8.5. And it was above average volume minus 4.7% in the last trading session. That's it, these were three trading ideas you can use to find stocks to short and you will find many other ideas to get started yourself. I emphasize once again that shorting comes with risks and is certainly not suitable for everyone. Therefore, this is by no means advice to short stocks, but those who do have sufficient experience with shorting stocks can use these screens, among others, to find potential short setups. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and until the next one.